Anthony, you must be very happy come the final whistle today. Yeah, of course. Listen, it's a, a tough place to come. I think it says by the record of, of the games that we've had here. So we haven't won here, I think, for two seasons or two years. I think someone was telling me before. And that's because they've got good players here, Connors Key. They've won the league the last two seasons. And they're competitors and winners. And it was always going to be a real tight, probably cagey affair. But I thought on the balance of play, we deserved it. We deserved to win the game. I know they scored at the end with a disallowed goal, but that wasn't a free kick, by the way. But I think in, in the end, we deserved it. I think we overran them in midfield and played the better football and created more chances. So, yeah, I think we deserved the win and, and we'll definitely take it. It was nil-nil at half time. What were your thoughts on the first 45? Yeah, well, I think it was probably we didn't start the game that well. We are a little bit two or three yards off. Um, pressing and stopping the crosses coming in the box. We knew that was a danger. I thought we could have done that better. But then I think as the game wore on, we started to pass the ball better, maybe because of we moved it more, we trusted each other a bit more, we played and ran forward, and we got in a few times from that. So I was probably more happy come the end of the half than I was sort of in the first 15 or 20 minutes. Um, and we were thinking about making a couple of changes at halftime, but we didn't, and we stayed the same, and I'm glad we did, because I thought we had a better second half or, or second 30 minutes leading up to that goal. And 13 minutes into the second half, Declan McManus scored his 13th goal for the club this season. It took the referee a, a second or so mm. to pull it back, though, for the penalty. Yeah, it did take a while. I mean, from the angle we were on, it definitely looked like, I think it was Jordan, got clipped and he went down in the box because I think he was fouled. Um, I must say there were a few probably strange decisions today, so I wasn't sure it was going to be given. But, yeah, I thought it was a penalty, to be fair. I'd need to see it back. I haven't seen it back yet. But um, yeah, glad for him that he, he keeps scoring and, and keeps his goal run going. And when you have a penalty in a game like that and it's Declan McManus standing over the ball, I know that you feel confident like the rest of us do. Yeah, I mean, look, he's got a good record so far, so long may that continue. And he, he looks calm and composed there. So yeah, we want to keep him going with that. And two players sent off as well. Yeah, I didn't quite see what happened then. Um, at the end, I've obviously spoken to Keston after that. Um, I think it's always a danger when you're on a yellow card. And I thought he had a good game, Kesson. I thought he did really well physically, aerially, thought he played out well. So it was a shame that he managed to pick up the second yellow there, but I didn't quite see what happened with that one. And, and, but unfortunately, I think he'll miss Tuesday night. And even later in the game, you've already made mention to it, it looked like Connors Key Nomads grabbed a really late equaliser. Yeah, well, first of all, it was never been a foul. I don't know what was going on there. I don't know how that was a free kick in the last minute. And I think... If you put the ball in the box as many times as they do, they, they certainly haven't changed that. They were putting in the box from all angles, deep in their own half, in our half, every half. They were putting it in the box that I thought we defended it really well, probably apart from that one at the end. But what I would say is fair play and, and credit to the officials there. I think the linesman said that there was an offside and some interference on the goalkeeper. Uh, again, though, I'd have to watch that one back and see it. But yeah, no, look, listen, we deserve to win the game, so we'll take the three points. But out there on the touchline, the swing of emotions must have been one extreme to the other. The goal given and then overturned. Yeah, of course it was. It was like scoring a goal, having that one uh, turned around for sure. But that's the game. That's why we, we, we're involved in it. We, we love it for those reasons. And we were on the right end of it today. And, and we'll definitely take that. Early days, as we often stress. But nevertheless, another victory for the New Saints. Yeah, I mean, look, we're very much focused on what we're doing and that's worked well for us in Europe. It's worked well for us so far in the league and we focus on each game. We've got another tough test against Bala, then we've got the cup game, then we've got Flint. So I think the games that we've had recently in terms of the league, it certainly are very, very difficult. Um, and that takes a lot of attention to detail. The staff have been good preparing and getting the players ready, but the players themselves have been outstanding. Um, the work rate, the effort from them. The intensity in training has been excellent. So we've been training really well of, of late. So, yeah, credit to them. And, and we'll be focusing on the next games moving forward. And no doubt confidence will be sky high going into the game against the Lakesiders on Tuesday. I mean, look, I think the confidence has been high anyway. We know that we can win in a, a variety of ways at the moment. We're able to grind out a result like we did at times today and be physical. I thought fitness-wise we were good. I thought we sort of ran over the top of them a little bit um, at times when we passed and moved and ran the ball. So... I think confidence-wise, yeah, we, we've been good anyway, but we, yeah, we'll, we'll continue on and, and be nice and focused for Tuesday.